What's up fellow K-pop fans and dreamers and onces, I love you guys so much and thank you so much for jumping over to my review of Twice's brand new song Heart Shaker. I did my best, I forgot to say this in my reaction, I did not look at the teasers because I don't like being spoiled, I don't want to hear a little tiny bit of the song, I want to be totally fresh, you know what I mean, going in. I'm weird, I like Christmas a lot, I like surprises and presents, I'm just saying. <laughs> Did any of that make any sense? I don't know. Anyways, you guys, if you look right here, I was telling you earlier about my backgrounds right now. I wasn't lying. See, that's my background on that screen and my background on the other screen. You, you can't see that because I'm not screen recording that, but it's the green picture. I don't know if it's the actual album cover or whatever, but it's definitely like the iTunes album cover for the, for the repackage, which looks really cool. I just like the concept of it, man. I just think it's awesome. We got a Christmas tree. It's merry and happy. Get it? So what we're going to do is we're going to go back and talk about some things. I already know a couple things that I want to talk about, even though, even though I've only heard it once. There was a lot of things that kind of stood out to me. And I am going to have the lyrics on for this one because they have closed captioning already, which is really awesome. So we'll see what the lyrics are all about, too. It was a very cute music video, man. I, I loved it. I didn't really say much about it in my reaction because I wanted to jump right into the review. But, man, just right off the bat, I just want to say it's a super cute music video. It's not, like, super drastic with anything or, like, you know, you look at, like, knock knock or you look at tt there's a lot of different elements going on there are a lot of different elements going on in this too but it's a little more simple which is pretty awesome what's also kind of cool about this too is likey for me was totally different than the other twice videos didn't really it, it just felt totally new whereas heart shaker it feels new but it also feels like they incorporated a little bit of the feel from their older music videos which is pretty awesome <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's so freaking cute right from the beginning, I'm just saying. Okay, but I, <laughs> it's just really freaking cute. Okay, so right here. That's awesome, man. I don't know if it's like a xylophone, like wicked high up or something, but I love it. <laughs> it sets the tone like immediately. It's awesome. Uh, anyways, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so something I want to talk about here, you guys, that I noticed like right when it hit is if you listen carefully, it's very interesting. They have the guitar panned almost like, I don't want to say totally in the right ear, but it's wanted to make sure I had my headphones on the right way. <laughs> so anyways, the guitar is panned in the right ear, like almost hard panned, almost, almost. But what's weird, you guys, is the bass is panned a little bit to the left ear. Now, you guys, it, it, I might get a little nerdy with this. That is not a common practice. That is not something you do in recording. You, you don't do that. <laughs> like, um, you know, back in the day when people were still trying to figure things out, like maybe back in the 70s and stuff, figure things out with like recording, they would experiment with panning the bass and stuff. But normally when it comes to getting a like a really even mix and a nice sound, you put the bass right in the middle of the mix. But what they did here is they put it a little bit more to the left ear, which makes the guitar stand out a little more. So like, I honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I noticed it right when I started watching this. I was like, whoa, that's kind of cool that they did that. It's a really interesting uh, mixing choice. It, it just really is. Also, the guitar is awesome. It's got like a beachy vibe, but also it, it does have a Christmassy vibe to it. I know a lot of people probably say no, but to me, it does. It's kind of like it's got that California Christmas. You know what I'm saying? Like it's got that summery Christmassy vibe. If that makes sense. It may not make sense. I might be just freaking out. <laughs> but I just think that's really cool. Maggie, isn't that kind of cool? <laughs> Anyways, let's get back into the song. Sorry, I'm focusing on one thing. How cute is that? Man, I love the colors too. The pink and blue. Awesome. Oh my god, Momo. <laughs> Tsu is so beautiful, man. What the f? Right, Maggie? It's that Taiwanese thing. Taiwanese girls, they're beautiful. Tsu, though. Do you know she lost the balance in the music video? No, where? Did it leave it in? 
They did? Oh, that's awesome. You'll have to tell me where that is. But I wanted to say, you guys, I've said this before, but her voice has improved so damn much, man. Like, her singing right here sounds great. It sounds really great. Something I didn't like, during One More Time, they put an auto-tune on her voice at, at a certain part, and I was just like, damn, man, it's not necessary. She's got it. She's got it. I mean, and actually, you guys, you can correct vocals without using auto-tune. I don't know if you guys know that or not, but there are many different ways to, to edit pitch, and auto-tune is just one of them. And with auto-tune, you get that very mechanical sound. And yeah, you can change it. You can make it a little less sounding mechanical. But with auto-tune functions, a lot of the time, you're still going to get that mechanical sound. That sounds kind of like a robot. You know, I do hate on auto-tune a lot, but there are instances where I actually like auto-tune. I think Cher's song Believe, I think that's the name of the song, I could be wrong. She used the auto-tune in there as like a really cool effect on her vocal, which was awesome to me. A lot of people picked on her for it, but I thought it was cool. That's my opinion on auto-tune. And that's me drinking coffee. Anyways. <laughs> Dude, I love the choreography, by the way. I don't know if I really mentioned it, but it's really adorable. I love it. And Neon's voice sounds so good, man. So does Jiho. Love Jiho's voice as well. And she's, man, she's just beautiful as well. Also, Sana, she killed everybody right there. I don't know if you guys saw that, but um, Sana's got a gun, you guys. Sana's got a gun. Oh my god, it works! Sana's got a gun. Oh, what the hell? So I just paused on this of what the hell is going on? Look at that. I hope you can see my arrow in the screen capture. Momo looks like a puppet. Neon is choking to death. Tsu is in Scooby-Doo, and she's scared. And Jiho's in love. <laughs> That's what Sana's gun does to you. Let's see her shoot everybody again. Oh, I didn't even realize that. They go bang, bang, bang. I didn't realize that was in there. That's cute. I think they say bang, bang, bang. I think that's what they're saying. Oh, mother effa. I forgot to turn on the... <laughs> I turned them on now. I forgot the subtitles. I really like that part a lot too, man, where she just like, it's really, really poppy, but then she throws in that, man, you know, Cha Young is a hardcore rapper on the inside, man, and she just broke it out for a second right there. I think she said, bitch, I don't give a f oh, I think that's what she said right there. Wow. Jeez, guys. She went hardcore for a second. And then everyone's like, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad I make myself laugh. Love the clocks, love the hearts. Oh, so cute. Oh, this sweet lyrics too. <laughs> Those are some high notes. Sana's wink is also a gun. That bass right there, boy. I love it. There's a, they do a nice little octave thing on the bass right there, and the, it just sounds so rugged. Listen to it. Love it. That's cool. <laughs> See, this part killed me, you guys. I was really very confused, and I think I might have gone cross-eyed during the reaction because two Momos appeared on the screen, and I got <laughs> thrown off. Which, by the way, is really cool how they did that. Like, I'm sure it's some kind of a green screen magic thing, and it might be an easy thing to do, but to me, with what we just do... Maggie and I with vi editing video, that's gonna be hard as hell to do. Because you gotta make sure they're not over layering each other somehow and uh, I don't even know how you do that. And you'd have to have the camera on a, the same exact track. It'd have to be at the same exact time of the song. Otherwise, it would mess up. That's gotta be hard. I mean, I'm sure the people doing this stuff are used to it by now, but that's gotta take some skill. I mean, if you and I tried to do that, <laughs> it'd probably be a disaster. <laughs>
It might be fun to try. Let's do it. Come on, Maggie. Let's do a dance cover of Heart Shaker. Me and you. You and I. Sorry, you guys. I'm too excited about this, but I've been waiting for a couple hours at work. I don't know who's throwing in those backing vocals right there, but it sounds awesome. Hmm. <laughs> Man, that's a really high vocal. See, I got confused again, you guys. I really did. I'm not even lying. Also, yeah, the effect right there on, on uh, Jiho's voice sounds really cool, man. It's like this weird... It's definitely like some kind of a reverb echo thing, but it also has like this weird tone that happens to it. That sounds awesome. It sounds really cool, man. It sounds like it sounds like she's singing and then the echo goes through a radio or something. It's pretty crazy. Awesome song, you guys. I really enjoyed checking it out a lot. The bass in this is really cool, man. It's happy, poppy, and I really like the tone of the bass, too. The guitar's got some nice effects on there. It's got a little bit of like a... Like I said, it's got like a surfer tone-ish to it. Not totally surfer guitar, but pretty close to it, you know? Uh, and then on top of that, the, the melody, especially during the chorus, is really fantastic. And it's pretty high. I feel like it's, it's a little bit higher, and I could be wrong, because I'm just off the top of my head here. But it sounds like it's a little bit higher than what I'm used to hearing the girls sing, which is pretty cool, man. And they can do it, obviously, you know. Love checking it out. Next, I'm going to check out Merry and Happy if it's out yet. I don't know if it is. But that'll be perfect for our 12 Days of Christmas, which we still have to make an intro for that if we do make an intro. I still haven't even made an intro for Sexy Sundays. So, dreamers, thank you for coming here again. I really appreciate it. If you guys could do me a huge favor, if you could share, if not this video, whatever favorite reaction or review video that you have from the Dream You May Entertainment channel, so any JG reviews video that you love, if you could share that on whatever social media or forum that you're a part of, like recently I just started posting some stuff on all K-pop, not my own stuff, but just, you know, chatting with people on there. If you guys could share anything you want of ours, that would be absolutely amazing, man, and we'd so appreciate it. As you guys know, there's like a million reactors, so we're just a needle in a haystack, you know what I mean? So it's hard to get the name out there. We're doing pretty well so far. And, you know, for those of you who've been here since the beginning, thank you so much. And for those of you who have just been joining now or recently, we really appreciate it so much, you guys. And thank you with all my heart. I re Seriously, I, I, I'm being honest here. It, it means so much to me. So thank you. Dreamers, keep on dreaming. We'll see you in the next video. And until then, Young.